my name is Hilary Mulek and I'm a wedding photographer based in the Carolinas and I love using this channel to help photographers like you on the business side and also the photography side and this week's topic is going to be how I blog client photos through PicTime. So PicTime is my gallery hosting service. I use it to upload all of my client images into different galleries. I send those galleries to my clients. I also make quite a bit of money through PicTime by hosting different sales and just print services for my clients which has been really amazing and they actually recently came out with another feature where you can blog your client photos through PicTime. So I'm going to be showing you kind of a tutorial on how I blog client photos through PicTime in this video. All right, so here I am in my pick time. I have pulled up this gallery, Karen and Smith. This is one that I've already blogged, but I want to just go through just that process in blogging and just what that looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and access this gallery. Now, if I go to photos, this is where that feature is, where you can blog different photos. So what you would do if you wanna create a new blog is you're gonna go over here to create blog, and then you're going to select just in general what type of layout you want for your blog. So there's this, very organized, more of an editorial look, just a full look, just a kind of single more spread out post look and you can actually customize this within the like when you're designing the blog too this is just kind of a starting point so i'm going to go ahead and just start with this the single now this section that pops up is if you want pick time to basically write the blog post for you it's actually really amazing i just kind of played around with it once you just type in a description of the wedding some keywords that you want included in the blog post just the general mood of the blog post. You want it to be more simple, very narrative, more of a storyteller, and it'll pull up basically an entire script for the blog post. It isn't something that I have used in any blog posts yet, just because I feel like it doesn't really sound like me, but if you're wanting just more of a simple option and don't wanna write out your own blog posts, then this is a great feature. You can just do, um, have pick time, write the blog post for you. So I'm gonna skip this for now. So here is where you go are going to select photos for the blog post. So this is my gallery that I have pulled up. I have all of my sneak peek photos right here, getting ready, portraits, wedding party, family. So I can basically go in here and just select all the photos that I like. You can select all your sneak peek photos. You can go through and select all the photos through all of these different little gallery sections. And then you're going to add the photos that you selected. So I just, for argument's sake, I selected three photos and it just created a very general blog post uh, with those three photos. So there's just the main photo that um, is set as the main photo for the gallery and then you can put text here if you want. Here are the couple of the images that I selected. You can list all of your vendors here. If you want to include this where on your blog, people can go and like click here and go see the entire gallery, you can offer that. Um, if you don't like how these are situated, you can switch them up or you can go up here to blog layout and you can change the different layout options. You can go in here. Let's say I wanted it to be more like this, so I can do that. You can change the background. So it ha currently has this background as this color. I usually just like to make it white. So you can do that. Um, for me personally, what I do is I get rid of this and I also get rid of the very top photo that I want to be the main photo of my blog post and I like to just upload this to my WordPress directly. I think I read somewhere that it does better with Google searches that way. So I'm just going to get rid of that. And then I also like to just put all the text directly in my blog post. So I'm not gonna write any text here. Remove that, remove that. And then I 
don't choose to have the option of the button where it, it will like basically redirect people from my blog to my pick time gallery. This is just a couple ways that you can customize. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna show you a wedding that I have already blogged and what that looks like. So here is, I've already blogged this wedding. Here's what it looked like. Um, these are all the photos that I selected. And you can actually see here on the sidebar, just like what the entire gallery or the entire blog post looks like. Perfect. So you can see that there's actually no text in here anywhere. And uh, I did that on purpose. So then what I did is I went up here to share SEO. And then when you click, click set up SEO, I want my blog name to be Lounge Grove Wedding in Charleston, South Carolina. These are just the different SEO descriptive words that I want to pull up for this wedding. So spring, spring Southern Louds Grove wedding in Charleston, South Carolina, pink silk bridesmaids dresses and black tuxedos, candlelight tented dinner or candlelight tented wedding reception. So just any keywords that you think people would search in order for this wedding to pop up. So I kind of thought about, you know, what is just the general vibe of the wedding. So it's a spring Southern wedding at this venue, Lounge Grove in Charleston, South Carolina. If anyone were to be Googling, uh, pink silk bridesmaids dresses or a black tuxedo wedding or tented wedding reception or candlelit tented wedding reception. So I just kind of put all those key keywords in there. And then down here, it has that you can actually put in the alt text for all of your images. Now, it actually says right here, write a short description for about five of your most relevant images. And it has an example as well. A couple who eloped in Yosemite Park say their vows in front of the upper, upper Cathedral Lake. So these are the top five photos that you want to add this alt text for, for when people are searching this wedding. And this is going to help your images pull up. So you can see here which images I picked. So I felt like this was a very key picture of the bride getting ready in the Lowndes Grove mansion. So bride getting ready at Lowndes Grove in Charleston. Groomsmen at Lowndes Grove in Charleston. These are just like three of my favorite groomsmen photos that I thought would be really great um, if pulled up on Google. Here are bridesmaids at Lowndes Grove in Charleston the outdoor wedding reception at Lowndes Grove in Charleston. So you kind of get the picture. I just like added some alt text to some of my favorite images that I would want to be pulled up in Google. So I'm gonna get out of this. So that's how you're gonna add all of the SEO to your images. Now we are going to take this blog post that we have just created in PickTime and we are going to add it into WordPress. So let me pull up my WordPress. Okay, so I've actually pulled up the exact blog post that I blogged this wedding to, so you can kind of see the behind the scenes on what this looks like. So I went ahead and uploaded that first main image. This is also the image that is the featured image for the blog post. And I think just from a Google perspective, it's good to at least have one image in the blog post before you add all the rest of the images through pick time. And then here is all the text that I added using the keywords. And then here are, is all the vendor info that I tagged at the bottom. And then this little symbol right here is what I added from pick time. So if you come over here to the text portion of it, it is this. That is the code that I added in order for all the stuff that I created in PickTime to be embedded in this blog post. And how you get that, I went back to PickTime. So you're gonna to go to integrate. So you're gonna integrate this into your website. And here is the code. So for me, I have the standard code. You can choose for the Pinterest button to be able to be used on each of the individual images. And then you just copy this entire thing and I pasted it here in the text portion of my WordPress. And then when I go over here to the visual portion, that is the little symbol that pops up. And so now what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and preview this blog post on my blog. 
And this is what it looks like. So Lounge Grove Wedding in Charleston. Here is the featured image and some of the text that I added. And then here is the whole blog post that I created in PickTime. So it is all just integrated here through PickTime, super easy. And then I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom here. Oop, that was too far. So there's the end. And then here is a link where people can view the rehearsal dinner if they want. Here are links to all of the wedding vendors that I worked with on this wedding. So that is how you use this blogging feature within PickTime. It's so, so easy and I have just recently started using it and it's just made blogging so much easier. I don't have to use multiple programs to blog. I can just go straight into my PickTime where all of these images are already uploaded. I can create this blog post and it just has a code for me to copy and paste into my WordPress so that it can be posted on my blog. I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next week for another YouTube episode. Bye guys.